All right, well, welcome aboard the space station. Um, we spent how many days here? I don't know, seven days, eight days, something like that. Uh, we del delivered the last pressurized module, we delivered the ELC-4, we did a whole bunch of transfer, and we uh, outfitted the PMM as best we could with the time available. And uh, Scott, it was a pleasure to be up here. We appreciate your hospitality. We appreciate you putting up with us, knocking your stuff off the walls, and uh, generally trashing your station, doubling, doubling the number of people. And we appreciate you guys letting us float down to the service module and get in your way as well. And uh, on behalf of the crew, we had a great time. Uh, we appreciate the hospitality and enjoyed the crew meals together. And uh, and we're going to miss you guys. And so thanks, thanks for everything. Well, I'd uh, like to say that uh, it was a very successful uh, time on board with you guys. We really enjoyed uh, having guests. This is the first uh, group of guests I've had in uh, about 150 days since I've been <laughs> up here. And uh, we're going to miss you. But uh, most of all, we're going to miss Discovery. And Discovery has been uh, a great ship and uh, has really supported the International Space Station more so than uh, I think any other any other space shuttle. And uh, we wish her uh, fair winds and following seas. Thank you. Shuttle and station crews uh, sharing a laugh as they uh, take some final photographs before the uh, shuttle crew members uh, take their leave and will uh, begin to file out of the uh, destiny module back into the space shuttle. They'll be heading toward this camera view, heading uh, through node two and on to Discovery. Hey, I uh, just want to let you guys know this was uh, this is going to be our last shift for your ISS leads. I had Lunny over here a little while ago and uh, taken Katie's comments there. I think we got enough prop on the vehicle to get light speed. Uh, we can do this day again. We'll call it 14 minus 1. If you guys are go with that, uh, we'll try. We're here to support you guys, whatever you want. Uh, I just want to take the opportunity before the uh, ISS leads got off uh, got off console here today. Mr. Lenny will be back with you guys in the morning. But I did want to take an opportunity while we had the whole crew there just to tell everybody it's been an honor and a privilege to work this mission with you. And we really look forward to seeing everybody back on the ground. Uh, a couple of folks have asked me recently what I would feel at this moment, and I think the answer is uh, just feel really proud to take uh, Discovery home at the very top of her game, and a lot of that credit goes to the onboard crew. You guys rock. Jeff White, and, uh, you know, of course, we're, we're, we are really proud of you guys and, and the amount of teamwork it takes to pull this uh, kind of mission off. It really was a, uh incredible effort on your part, and... Uh, you know, you, you guys are really the unsung heroes in this, and, uh, you know, it's so much going on simultaneously. I, I, I would imagine these last couple of days, not today, but the, the day before and the day before that were probably the two most busiest days in the, in the space station program. So, you know, all your folks uh, that have worked on this uh, in both programs, shuttle and station, should be very proud. We copy. You guys have a safe trip home. We'll see some of y'all sooner, but we're looking forward to seeing all of y'all back on terra firma. Hey, and Royce uh, from Steve. You know, I watched you work this mission from the very beginning, uh, and uh, I watched your team work it. I watched you guys knock down every little problem and every little detail flat. I watched the planners replan this mission for four months uh, with varying timelines as well as the shuttle side. And uh, I just got to say, it's, it, it's real testimony to your team and your leads and all that you did to uh, keep the, keep us organized, keep us focused on the tasks at hand and get it done that made this a success. We were just the executors, but you guys are the ones that really put this all together. So thank you uh, from, from both crews uh, for all that you do. Thank you.
final handshakes and hugs as the uh, Space Shuttle Discovery crew members get ready to uh, leave the International Space Station. Shuttle Commander Steve Lindsay and Station Commander Scott Kelly both expressing their thanks to the ground team, to uh, lead Station Flight Director Royce Renfrew. Our camera view now is from inside the Harmony module, looking forward. The uh, hatch in the uh, background leads into a permanent uh, pressurized mating adapter number two, which is attached to the Space Shuttle's orbiter docking system. And that is uh, that will be the exit for all of the folks in the blue shirts. And from this view that is pointed down into the uh, the transfer path between the two vehicles, you can see uh, over Scott Kelly's shoulder. The uh, shuttle crew members moving back on to their vehicle. Once everyone's on the right side of the hatches, Kelly and uh, Paolo Nespoli will be working to uh, close the hatch that we see down beyond Steve Lindsay. That's the uh, forward hatch on the PMA. Lindsay and Al Drew will be working on the uh, shuttle side of that interface, closing the hatch to the orbiter docking system. And we've just seen Commander Scott Kelly close the uh, forward hatch on the pressurized mating adapter number two. That hatch uh, closed at 3.11 p.m. Central Time. Still a number of steps for the station crew members to be working through on this side. And, of course, the uh, shuttle crew is working on their side of the uh, of that hatch, uh, closing the hatch from the orbiter docking system. The last of the steps for the shuttle crew in this uh, hatch closing procedure is the one where they actually close the orbiter docking system hatch and lock it. Please uh, don't leave it in the PMA and we'll find a permanent home for it a little later. And so that makes the um, hatch closure time on the orbiter docking system hatch 323 Central this afternoon. That came after the uh, hatch on the station side of the interface was closed at 311 for a total hatch opening time on this mission of seven days, 23 hours, and 55 minutes. <laughs> 